Sis, I ask again. You've not said anything. Do you need me to do anything for you? No. Ngozi. Mm -hmm. You know the circumstances that brought you to my house, right? Yes. How the enemy delayed me in getting pregnant. But um, God came through for me. On the other hand, you also did what you came here for. By giving my husband a child. But you see, I can't continue sharing my home with you. Mm -hmm. You have to leave. I... I don't understand. I should go with my child. Oh, no, 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 no. The child belongs to my husband, so he stays. That is unfair. How can you even ask me to leave my child behind? Look, I understand if you no longer need me here. I respect that. But to ask me to leave my child behind, it's impossible. I can't do that. Wow. Did you just speak to me in that tone? Ngozi, you now talk to me with so much boldness. Huh? You constantly remind me of this one single mistake I made by bringing you to this house. I am surprised, but I'm sorry if what I said upsets you, but I cannot leave my child behind. It's not going to happen. Very well then. When my husband comes back, he will explain further. Okay, in case you think that I'm doing this on my own. Until then. Bye. I sacrifice all for you. Yet you're not satisfied. You made me do all this. Yet you're not satisfied. I showed you true love. So, can my life get any worse than this? Then both women give you a son at some time. Yes. You now have two sons. Huh. I mean, I want to be happy. I truly want to be happy, but I can't. One of them has to go. One of them. The kids or your wives? Which of them? My second wife has to leave. But the truth is, I don't know how easy she's going to take it. It's not going to be easy, my friend. It's not going to be easy at all. I would advise you to let it stay. Because she will not want to be a child. Look, if it's about that, I have a plan for it already. Really? Yeah, I have a plan for it already. I just need one wife and my kids with me. That's my kind of life. If you want to take my advice, I'll tell you to let the both of them stay. What matter is that they're happy to have to Right? You just have to take it and allow the boat to stay. I heard his both wives gave him a son each. Are you for real? Yes. Hmm. He doesn't know the trouble he has gotten himself into. He will run polygamy and know what it feels like. So, are you saying that he might regret his decision? Oh, my love. He may have succeeded in being the CEO of your father's company. But bet me, he will regret it. He wants a polygamous home, right? He will weep. He will grind his teeth. He will suffer. For his decision, he will definitely suffer. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's just that I'm pained that I lost. It's okay. Just relax. God bless you with yours. Amen. Amen. But for now, let him go. 
but I still have faith. Okay? He will still lose. He will still become the CEO. Hmm? Have faith. Um, I'm sure my wife must have told you about my decision. Your decision? Was that really your decision? Well, not really my decision, but a uh, decision. You know, before you came into this house, we already agreed that once you come and give us a child, you'd leave. I wasn't told that. Well, now you know. And, um, since the child has come, uh, I think it's time you'd leave. Hmm. I see. It's okay. I'll go. But on two conditions only. Two conditions? Which are? Fred, when you brought me to this house and married me, you met me a virgin. Mm -hmm. You confessed it with your mouth. Mm -hmm. So I would only leave if you give me back my virginity. Or I leave with my child. Uh -uh. Ngozi, um, I, I thought you were an easygoing person. Ngozi, look, try and understand me, okay? Having both sisters in this house is, is not easy for me. It's not my thing, okay? In the next life to come, I, I know I will choose you. But for now, your sister is my first wife. And I've gotten a child and you just have to leave. Please, understand me. Well, Fred, I expect you to understand me too. You are leaving my house. I am not going anywhere. You must leave my house. You are leaving my you house. Are, you are leaving my house. house. I am not going anywhere. Oh, I am throwing your box to wait, you know. Could you must see. I am not going anywhere. You are leaving my house. Could you must see. I am just respecting you. Respecting, respecting you. I am respecting you. you Will you beat me? Ujuma. What will you do? Ujuma. Ujuma. You want me to leave this house, right? Yes. You and your husband should restore my virginity back. Else you, I am not. You are mad. You are mad. You are stupid. You, see that stupid. you are leaving this house. <laughs> because you don't try me. See, you are leaving this house. Oh. I am not going anywhere. <laughs> hey, what's going on here now? Baby. What's this? What's going on here? See, Bye. tell this stupid girl to leave my house. Give her her baby and let her leave my house. No, that is not possible. I mean, that is my child. My, my child can't leave. No. Come. What is it? Ngozi. What is it? I've told you to leave now. Okay, tell me, what will it cost you? What, what will I pay? Please, sir, with all due respect, this is not about money. I am not going anywhere. If you want me to go, I have told her what, what needs to be done. You are senseless. You are leaving this house. Honey, Let me see honey, you cross this place honey, right hey, now. Hey, 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 it's fine. You know what? It's fine. You want to stay? You can stay. Baby, hmm? stay where? Just avoid these problems. Just leave her. I, 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 don't, I don't like this thing, no. It's okay. Okwagi, don't worry. Gossi. Gossi, what is it, Kwano? Eh? I, look, I have no problem with you staying in my house, but I can't handle two wives. It, look at it now, it's already driving me crazy. I've told you, just leave. Eh? Now look at it, see, you're having a fight with your sister already. He's ready to eat. My son is ready to eat. Mommy is going to feed you. Yay! Is this what you want to feed this baby with? Eh, Ngozika? Well, this is what I can afford. Since you stopped his father from providing for his upkeep, I can't kill myself. This is what I can give him. Hey! Ngozika, 
See the way you're suffering this innocent child. Okay? This innocent boy. All because of stubbornness. Give the child for me to take care of. And get out of this house in peace. I said no. What are you even saying? This is my son. He needs me. And I will stand by him. Yes, yes by giving him a bond space. Hmm? It's not like I'm afraid. Continue suffering. It's a poor child that I get. Hey! Because you don't have this son. Oh, no. It's a bit more bond. It's not hard. I'm saying the bomb is my camera. Sir! Who will kill your son with bomb beans? Sir, come and see what they are giving to your son. Stop over here. Scared of the same back. Come look at this. Come and give her a bomb beans. Say more that you can handle it. That was why I did not come. Hey, challenging you in your own husband's house. Onye ko bo bo nya la amuma. Give that idiot the phone. Let me know the madness that has befallen her. Nia phone. Ah, Honoria, she has zonya. See, eh? I am coming to that city by month end. Kamune ana boli agwongwang. Eh? Let her tell me if it is her husband's house or your husband's house. No, I will come. I will come. I didn't back one. I didn't back one. They went me away. I will come to the city by month end. Eh? Ngwano. Ngozi, my fine daughter, please, I want you to swear that you will never fight your stepmother and your younger sister. That you will always love them and accept them as your own blood. Papa, yes. I swear and I promise I will take them as my blood. Oh, lovely. Thank you, my dear daughter. Mm. Truth is that I am getting tired of all this ups and down but then i love my son and will always stand by him i will not abandon him for anything no matter the pressure i am hopeful that soon all this will come to pass god please take over the situation and save me and my son Please. You reward me with wickedness. Here it's all. You reward me with envyness. Oh, what is my crime? What did I do wrong? What is my crime? Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm making food for my baby. Oh, okay. Um, take that rubbish away and boil water for me to make pap for my baby. Excuse me, I don't understand. I just said I'm making food for. Okay, you know what? I would finish making this, then I would make your baby's food immediately. For what? No, no. As what? In my own kitchen, in my own house. Are you okay? I don't understand you. Jo. Why are you getting angry? Are you mad? I just said, let me finish. I'm already making it. Because I should wait for you in my own house, in my own kitchen, to make food for your baby. But the thing has to be fine. Please don't touch it. Are you mad? Are you dead? It's not touch it. Are you crazy? See, because I'm keeping you quiet. What is wrong with you? It's not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just beat you, blue, 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 black now. Because of what? Look, this is my child we are talking about. I'm making food for him and you're, you're about to throw it away. Don't you try this thing next time. Don't try it. No sense. Because I'm keeping you quiet. No, it's just one. How dare you? Did you did you lay your hands on your sister, my wife? I... Answer the question. Yes, 
I did. Why? Why? Eh? Why would you do such a thing? I'm sorry. Look, I don't need this in my house. You told me to love your sister, which is what I am doing. And now you're having a fight with her? You're taking away the peace and tranquility in this house. We don't need it. Both of you alone, it's a lot of trouble for me talking about the fact that you're fighting. I'm sorry. Please. Sorry for yourself. I'm, I'm sorry. I like mother, like daughter, but nothing cry. Manu banu no buru zodi, buzo wa. Be careful. Your steps don't be faster. I mean, why don't you let that girl go? Let her go. I have already given you a son that will succeed you. I've already given you a son to secure your inheritance. Let her go. I, I don't know. I've done everything possible for her to go, but she keeps giving me conditions. Then let her go. Let her go. I already gave you a son, which means your inheritance is secured. Let her go! She can't just live with my child now. I paid her bride price, which automatically means the child is mine to keep. Since she doesn't want you keeping the child, let her go with the child now. Yes, she gave you a son, and I gave you a son too. So what is it? Let her just go and live our lives alone. Please, I need peace in this marriage. Let her leave. It's okay. I think I know what to do. Uncle, I traveled all the way from the village to this city for just one purpose, and that is to take you back to the village ah. with me. The village. Uh huh. Ha. <laughs> husband, Kwa. Who are you referring to? You to as your husband? Huh? My husband. This one. Huh? Look, he is not your husband. Your wicked, mischievous stepmother here deceived you and married you to this man. Excuse me, I'm here. I know. Why are you interrupting me? She married you to this man without my consent, without the consent of my kinsmen. Uncle, okay, about that. You uh, know, when my husband people wanted to come pay my bride price, uh -huh. my mother here said you traveled. Well, she mm. went for that to meet my other kinsmen mm. and she gave them the bride price. Mama, right? Okay. Oh. Is, is it? Uh, you said? Uh, your other kinsmen that I'm not aware of, I don't know them. Blotted lie! This woman did not seek the consent of anybody. I have asked all my kinsmen and they said they are not aware. And as such, your marriage to this man is null and void. Uh, so what is now going to happen to me now? Oh my dear, that is the sad part of the whole story. The fact that you are not married to this man legally means that you are not a wife and your child is not his child. Okay? Now, we are not prepared yet, oh, my kinsmen and I. When we are prepared, this man will understand the gravity of the offense he has committed. Wait, so this whole thing is fake? Yeah, <laughs> scam. Mother, you deceived me. You? What did I ever do to you? Huh? All I have ever done is take you as my own mother. I have loved you, cared for you, tolerated you. I have done everything as a good child, but you do this to me? Why? Huh? And this is how you pay me back? With wickedness. Uh, don't insult me. Do you know what? I have nothing to say to you. But my God will judge you. 
My God will punish you. Uncle, I will go get my child and leave here because I have nothing here anymore. Hey, 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 no, no, no. You can't possibly take my child. At all. Will you keep quiet? What child are you talking about? Now, if you don't shut that thing, that gutter you call a mouth, eh? I am going to so lay a curse on you, eh? It be with Jamne from Yakbamu, right now as we speak. Please, what are you saying? I, I paid a high price. I mean, that child is mine. If you know you paid a bright price, go and meet whoever this wicked woman took you to and collect your money. As for my, my niece and her child, I'm going with them right now, this minute. Okay, right now, I'm going to collect for you. Uh, you will see me. Who are you? I'm coming for you. Mama. Who uh, are you in the past? Mama, what is it? Where you go? In fact, Mama, I don't see me here. Let me wait for her outside. I don't want to stay in this kind of room. Sacrifice all for you. Yet you're not satisfied. You made me. Because, because, because hold on now. Please. You can't sort this out. Uncle! Because, please. Because you can talk. Yet you're not satisfied. You lured me into this year. Yet you're not satisfied. I cried and weeped for you. Yet you're not satisfied. Oh, but please, I'm sorry. Rico, forgive me. Mama. Mama, please, I don't want to hear anything. Anything again that comes out of your mouth, please. Baby, please now, listen to her. Eh? At least we can sort this thing out. Sort what out? No, we can sort what out. That your mother transpired with people. Could life with fake relatives to collect bright price from me. What are, what are, you, trying to, what are you trying to say? What do we know? Tell me, what do we want to sort? Mama, please, I beg you. Eh? By the time I'm in and come out, I don't want to see you anywhere around my premises. Hey, baby, no now. Uh -uh. I don't want to repeat myself. It hasn't gotten to that. Eh, eh. Oh God. Honey. Oh God. My love. Baby, wait, wait, wait. Baby. Yeah. Oh God. Sacrifice all oh. for you. Oh God. Oh God. Yes, you're not satisfied. You made me do all this. Oh. Ada. Stop crying now. Eh? Please, stop crying. See, God knows why things are happening. Please. <laughs> Uncle, Uncle, I am so sad. I have suffered so much. <laughs> I feel so sorry for myself. If I had known, I would have listened to you. I would have listened when you came to take me. I would have followed you. Eh? <laughs> Uncle, all I have ever done for that woman is show her love. I have done everything, everything in my capacity to make her happy, but it never pleases her. Look at what I am going through. Is it fair? Or then my, my hands is clean now. That is okay now. You see, I have very soft eyes, though. As you are crying now, I'm almost crying too. Please, stop crying before I will disgrace myself. Please. Eh? See, I can imagine what you went through in the hands of that wicked woman. I told you now, I told you that woman was wicked and mysterious. You didn't believe me. Oh, this... But it's okay, it's okay. Please. Huh? Oh, God, this suffering was too much. I've suffered. I've suffered in the hands of those people. I really suffered, though. And God is just in heaven. Watching me so far with this child like this. Eh? Hi. Oh, it's okay, God. <laughs> I'll just leave everything to God. Because it's only God that will fight for me. God will fight for me. <laughs> Listen, my daughter. You see, eh, you don't really know how the law of karma works. Eh? Eh? Sometimes some of these things you are just shedding off karma, shedding off karma. Eh? Don't worry. Just take solace in the fact that I am here to take care of you and 
our son. Doku. Please. Hoku is just one thing. One thing I promised my father when I was ten, he made me swear and promise him that I would always love my family, no yeah. matter what. Yes. Then I have kept my promise, but oh. you are not making it easy. No, no, no don't, don't worry. I'm your family now. Am I not loving you back? Eh? So, okay, see the beautiful boy that God has given to us. Eh, look at it. It's okay, nah, it's okay. Stop crying, it's okay, so. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Eh? Alright, eh? don't worry. Everything will be fine. Eh? Mama Biko, you have to leave. You have to leave now. You see? Oh, mm. Mama, I have to leave. Yes. <laughs> Wait, though. Instead of defending me, you're asking me out of your house. Ah, Mama, you've seen how angry you've made my husband. Eh? How do I ask you to stay when you've clearly messed things up? How did I mess anything up? No, 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 tell me. How did I mess things up? Is it my fault? Mama, it's your fault. It's your fault. You should have involved uncle, knowing fully whether this will backfire. Why didn't you involve him? How would I have known that your stupid stepsister wouldn't agree to go? Eh? I collected that bride price because I knew the marriage would not last. Did I know that she would even live with the child? Eh? Mama, this one is a medicine after death. Like I said before, you have to leave. You have to leave now and before my husband comes back. Eh? You have already sold your relationship with him and it will be very difficult for him to forgive you. So Pico, come and start going. I don't want problems. Please. Ha! Hey, hey. Mo, come and start going. Eh, Biko. Obedu, I should come and start going. After everything I did for you. Mo, come and start going. Ah, Mama Biko. Mama, please, please. Mama Biko, please start going. Oh, start going, please. Mama, start going. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're balancing. You're... Why will I not balance? Ha! Mommy, I don't want problem. You have to start going. My husband said he shouldn't meet you back in, when he comes back to this house. So you have to start going, Pico. Mama, stand up. Stand up, stand up, Pico. Oh, baby, baby. Obi you're asking me out of your house. <laughs> it's not my fault, though. It's your fault. It's your fault. You want to spoil my marriage for me? No, you want to destroy this my marriage for me. Eh? So carry the cross alone and leave, Pico. S save my marriage for me. Wait a minute. Wait, you meant to tell me that you paid her bride price to the wrong people? You did. I mean, you were there, you saw them. The uncles, the relatives, all controlled by my mother in law. Eh? Can you imagine? What such level of evil? Wait, do you know that her so-called uncle is not even aware of her wedding? Excuse me. She's not, he's not aware. No, 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 no. That woman is that that woman is terrific. The woman is heartless. That woman is devilish. How can she do such a thing? God help her. God help her. Eh? I don't meet her in the house when I get back. I already told her daughter, I don't want to see her legs in the house. Because as it stands now, I have lost her sister and my son. Have my support. Whatever you want to do, you need to do that. Look at me. This is terrible. This woman is heartless. I can never, I have told her, I can never have any relationship with her. See, mother and son in law relationship is cancelled. You don't, you don't need to. Hi. Okay, Mose, calm down. Calm down, please. Hey! Oh, Ned. I'm so ashamed of myself. A child I gave birth to. A child I raised. I did everything for just for her to be happy. Opened her ungrateful mouth and walked me out of her house. Hey! 
Mwen me go lose everything. I was even willing to give my life for her. Hey, just to please her husband. She said I should walk out of her house. Hey, stay at home. Alo, who wants to get that? You will be ready to fight for them. Even taking bullets ah. because of them. Only, only to destroy you with unnecessary blames. Eh? I have lent the hard way. God forbid. My child has taught me a bitter lesson I will not forget in a hurry. Hey. Hey, what are the man? Hey, Ngozi, where is she? Ned, hmm? if I had come back and met Ngozi and that child, I would have adopted two of them, sir. You would so, have done what? Adopted them. Adopted both of them. Yes. It is better to take a child who has always wanted you as her mother than the one you are killing yourself to love you. But it is well. Are you considering taking Ngozi as your daughter? They're going to late now. It has passed. Her uncle came and took her. How did go late? Huh? I wish, I wish I did the other time. It's late. Adam. Okay. Now that you are back here with me in the village, so what do you plan to do? Uncle, I have thought of a small business to start, an Akara business actually. It's a profitable business, something I can do very well. Why now? Huh? I told you I'll be able to take care of you and your child. You don't need to suffer yourself now. Go and find Akara for what now? Uncle, I thank you. You have done so much for me, but I can't sit down idle. I need to do something, no matter how small. It makes more small profit here and there. <laughs> Adam, okay. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you see, what you said now, eh, there's wisdom in it. Eh? Don't worry. I will provide the capital needed for the business. Hey, eh? Chuku. <laughs> Uncle, thank you. <laughs> thank that, you, sir. Is that right, my daughter? Thank you. Is that right? Hey. Hi. Oh. So, where is my grandson? That one, he has eaten, overfed himself. Now he's sleeping. Ah. <laughs> Speaking of food, uh, Uncle, I made your specialty. Oh, Let's oh, go and bring it for you. Oh, uh, I'm coming. Adam, <laughs> Uncle, Adam. I'm coming. You will love it. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm actually hungry. <laughs> Baby, Baby, mm. Baby, for how long will you continue to treat me like this? Eh? Why punish me for the sins of my mother? She made me lose my son. And I would never be happy with her. I know. I scolded her for it. And I still supported you in sending her away. Why are you still punishing me? Why are you still acting cold towards me? Why? I'm sorry. I'm not just happy with myself. I'm not. I know. Don't worry, okay? Just look at it this way. Maybe that's how God wants it. Yes, He wants us to have back that our peace. The peace of mind that we've always had. I'm very sure everything worked out for good. Alright? Don't worry. I'll give you more songs. Okay, let's just concentrate on us so we can have more children. I'll give you more songs, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll give you more songs, okay? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yes, Ken, I wasn't expecting you in my office. <laughs> I know. I'm only here to make some clarifications, all right? So having given my brother 
Fred, the CEO of my... Point family. of correction. I did not give to him. It was written in your late father's will, which you saw. Okay, whatever. I'm here to inform you about the trouble going on in paradise. So what trouble? Well, you haven't heard. Fred didn't tell you. Well, if you must know, I was told one of his wives left with his son. And so why are you bringing this to my notice? <laughs> Barrister, polygamy was created to fail, and my brother's marriage is not an exception. <laughs> Ken, when I called into the world to be a CEO, your brother Fred must be a father. And to be a father, he must be legally married, and which I know he's legally married to his first wife. I may not know about his second wife. And again, to further interest you in all of this, you have totally failed. Do you know why? You have lost her because you have always wanted what does not belong to you. Look at you, okay? If you could go this far to wish your brother, Fred, this level of misfortune, it shows how evil and monstrous you can be. I only have a piece of advice for you, Kenneth. Change your ways. Change your ways right now and then every other thing will fall in place for you. You can't go on with this anymore. So this is what you have to say to me after listening to everything I just told you. What exactly do you want me to tell you? said the baby fell from the bed and landed with his skull and there was heavy cut that resulted to heavy bleeding and that caused total brain asphyxiation. Doctor, I don't understand what I'm trying to say. Um, sorry. What? Phone, I thought you were playing. 
Your husband threw you out of the house. Why? How? By the way, where's my grandson? It's because of him I'm here. It's because of Chimobi. What about him? Something bad happened to him. What? What happened to me? He... He... he Talk he, now. Talk to me. Aging a suspense, woman. What happened to him? My children be fell down from the bed. When I was watching the... No, I, I, I was washing clothes. Hey, don't. Say that thing again, Biko. Chelo, 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 what? That you were washing clothes. How? You use washing machine. Can we get what? Wait, to? My grandson fell off the bed when you were watching TV. Hey! <laughs> you ain't <a> demon. <laughs> you are evil. The only reason people call me grandmother. The only reason you are still married to your husband is gone. <laughs> and you had the gods to come here. <laughs> Abenuchu, please, I don't want to talk too much. Just carry your luggage and get out of my compound. <laughs> get out. I don't want to talk much. Mama, please. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry. Leave me. Hey. Hey. They finally got in me. Hey. Mama, be cool, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like mother, like daughter, but now she cry. Manu banu no buru zodi, buzo wa. Be careful. Fred, you need to pull yourself together. You just have to take it as well. My whole world is crumbling before my eyes. I mean, who did I offend? without putting something to support the child not to fall off the bed. What level of carelessness is that? Sam, I feel like squeezing life out of her. I mean, what kind of... I, 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 still, I still don't understand. Is that not appalling? She could have it forgiven her. Trust me, I don't think she's ever gonna forgive me. I mean, not know after what I did on or I said to her. She won't. Just give her a try first. Give her a try. A 
Let her die now. Eh? Let her die. She's useless to me. Ona won won. These are not done that way. If you stay here, you have yourself to be blamed. Eh? You're going too far now. Ned. Ned, do you know what that idiot did to me? Do you have an idea of what she did to my grandson? My pride. The only reason people call me a grandmother. No matter what she did. It's not enough reason for you to kill her. <sighs> eh, she's still your blood. Eh? Mm. Neddy, it's obvious you don't have any other thing to say. Please just leave. Leave my house. Oh, come on, calm down. I said, I'm calm down. I'm calm, calm down. I went, I went. If you don't have any other thing to say, you, you, you just get out. After all, you're the cause of all these things. If you did not bring that, you're stupid. I'm an ill locked uh, uh, nephew. All this was would it have been happening? Hey, How my nephew me well? has turned to bad luck now. When I brought that young man, did I bring him for you? Is it not your useless daughter that ran into him? She has been a bad luck to this young man, giving him perpetual misery. What is all this? Ikuchago. Eh? Ned, you know me. You know me too well. Imanande, we walk. And when I'm angry, I can do anything. Ned, get out of my house. I should leave your house. Leave my house. Mate, we are quite easy. Mana, don't nah. worry. Just get out. Don't worry, I will go. Rubbish. Seba, Rubiko. Mana, Noru. Eh, eh. Nonsense. Useless woman. I come back every day. You come here and I'll show you. Nonsense. Come with a quaggy boss, huh? Calm down, calm down. Is that the only thing you can say? Bulu bad luck, but I'm a bad. Can't fuck with you now. One day you won't care about us. Nonsense. Ha ha. Get up. Oh, what is this? Like mother, like daughter, but now she cry. Manu panu na buru zodi, buzo wa. What are you doing? Oh, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. You know, if, if I had the opportunity, I would have given my life. Why did you not give your life? Why did you not die in his death? Eh? If you had died, I would have endured you. Because I'm tired of having a stupid child. Eh? You are just shameless. I regret the day I conceived you. Ma, you are not any better. You are not. Oh, you think I don't remember how you maltreated father when he was alive? Huh? How you plotted his death simply because he caught you cheating on him. Are you talking to me like that? Huh? You act like a saint. You act like you're the holy one. Meanwhile, you are not. You have done more evil than I can ever imagine. All my life, you have never corrected me about my wrongdoings. It has always been Ngozika that has been correcting and standing by me, making sure I be of good behavior because she knows that my mother did not do a good job in training me. As useless as Ngozika is, I would choose her a million times over you. Because you are just stupid. You're shameless. Just get out of this house. Get out. I'm not going anywhere. Like mother, like daughter. I'm not going anywhere. You're going to find your business. Stay alive for me, Biko. I cannot, I cannot live without you, please. I'm in pain. I don't think I'll survive this. I don't think 
survive this. You will survive this in Jesus' name. I will take you to the hospital and you'll be fine. Please. Please. I want you to go and see your sister, Gozika. Tell her that we are sorry. We are sorry for everything we've done to her. Ndo, 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 Mama. Mama, Ndo, it's okay. It's okay, Mama. I will go and see, we'll go and see Ngozika together, okay? First, I will take you to the hospital. You will be strong and we'll go and see her together. Pico. I don't think I will make it that. <laughs> Before. Go and tell her that I'm sorry. Oh, we are sorry. Mama, we'll, we'll tell her together you'll be strong and we'll tell her, we'll go and ask for forgiveness and she will forgive us. Yeah. I think so. Mama, mm. why you go? Ah! I'm sorry, Mama. Mm. Let, me, let me take you to the hospital. Mm. Ah! Mama, do so sorry. Mama, do. Mama, is that how you want to stay and sleep? Mama, please! I cannot live without you, Mama, please! Mama! Mama! Mama, please, Mama, wake up! Mama, Biko! Mama, wake up! It's me, Uju! Mama, Biko! Mama, please! Mama, Mama, please! Mama, Mama, please! I cannot live without you! I, I come in peace. Hey, you come in peace. Can you give what you don't have? Just look at yourself. There is no iota of peace in you. You are a troublemaker. Please, can we just sit down and talk? I didn't come here to make trouble. Yeah. 
If you like, you can see. If you like, you stand there. Yes, what can I do for you? Um, Uncle, like I said, I come in peace. <sighs> Uncle, um, I should have listened to you from the very start. And I'm sorry about that. I know I did wrong by sending Ngozi away. Um, Uncle, something bad happened to me. Which is? I lost my son. Which the one Ujuma had for you? Yes, Papa. Ah! Oh God, why that handsome boy? I lost why? my son out of her negligence and carelessness. And I'm on the verge of losing everything. Of course. Hmm. That I know. Okay. I'm on, the, I'm on the verge of losing everything, including the inheritance my late father left for me. Because my kid brother already has children. If I don't have a child, I would lose everything to him. Uncle, I should have just waited for God's time or purpose before pushing myself to um, asking for God's hand in marriage. Okay. Hey. I was just wondering, I said, why did you come here? You just came like a sheep. So not that you really want Ugozi. What you want is just the child so that you can claim your inheritance. No, 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 Papa. Eh? No, sir. So let me tell you, Ugozi was never your wife, oh. Uncle, I know that. Ah, I know. Uncle, look, I'm just a victim of circumstance. I actually came for Ungozi, but I was told that she had mental illness or something. Yes. Which made me get married to Uju. And it's not like Ungozi is not a good person. Uncle, but I was manipulated. You were manipulated. <laughs> Okay, now, ju just look at it. You said you came for Ngozi, right? Yes. And you were deceived to go for Uju. Yes, I understand that woman very well. That wicked wife of my late brother. I know her very well. W very wicked. Yes, you may have been manipulated by her to marry Uju. Fine. But now you are coming here now to tell me that you want my grandson and my daughter because of your inheritance. Can't you see that you are being trickish? You are being crafty. Mm -hmm. You should have just told me straight that you are here for them. But now you, you want it to, to get your inheritance. So they are not instruments. Ah, come on. Uncle, no, okay, okay, Uncle, listen to me, please. I came to meet you directly and to apologize and for you to help me beg Ngozi. I am ready to do everything the right way, to pay a bride price. To have to come back home, for me to get my child. I am ready, uncle. Please put yourself in my shoes. In as much as I will not tell you my decision right now, but I want to get one thing clear. Are you coming to pay her bright price so that you can get my grandson to claim your inheritance or you really want to get Ngozi as your wife? I want to hear that answer first before any other thing. Tell me. Please, just help me talk to her. All I do every day is just to make you happy. All I think every day is about your well-being. Good boy. My cooperative son. 
ready to eat the sock 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 Oh, what is going on here? What is he doing here? Uh, please, just calm down, okay? He came to the house pleading that I should bring him to you and I had no option. Um, hello, was it? Freddy, say hello. Mu hello. Freddy, you, you had the guts to show your shameless face here after all you put me through. You are indeed shameless. I don't blame you. It is my uncle here I blame. Uncle, why would you bring this man to this place? You know this man is the last person I ever want to set my eyes on. Please, I, I had no choice. Eh? I had no choice. Just calm down. Listen to what he has to say. I am not he... interested. I am not interested in anything this man here has to say. Fred, just go, okay? Leave me alone. Because yeah, I'm sorry. Eh? I'm sorry. I, I did a very, very shameful act by chasing you out of the house. Please, eh? I'm sorry, please forgive me. Be That's corner. it. Fred, this is what you came here to tell me. Look, if you like, lie down on the floor. If you like, fall into the gutter and roll in it to ask for my forgiveness. I will not forgive you. I will not. I don't. Papa, I am done. I, I'm going home. That cause get me to love. I sacrifice all for you, yet you're not satisfied. You made me do all this, yet you're not satisfied. I showed you true love, yet you're not satisfied. You lured me. Ah, I should have known. I should have known you were the one that sent Fred to me. No, 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 no. I, I, I didn't. As a matter of fact, he, he threw me out of the house. He sent me packing. He sent you packing? Yes. I, I was careless with Chimobi. I left him on the bed without supporting him from falling. And then I, I went to the sitting room to watch television. But then Chimobi fell from the bed and smashed his skull. No, on the floor. no! Ha! Ah. That poor child! Why now? Why now? Ha! Ah. What are you doing here? Would you? I've come to ask you for forgiveness. Please, sister, please forgive me. I know I don't deserve to be called your sister. All you've ever shown me was through love. Please, please forgive me for all the pains I have caused you. I beg you with everything you hold sacred, please forgive me. You please, I am sorry. Mama is dead. Yes. What? She died a very painful death. What? When I got home from the city, she was very angry at me. She wanted to break my head and in the process, she fell down. No! Dead. No! And she died. Ah! No, Mama shouldn't have died. She doesn't deserve to die. Mama seriously wanted your forgiveness. She craves for your forgiveness. Ah. She asked me to beg you to please forgive us. I know we treated you badly. Please have mercy. Forgive us for everything we have done to you. Ah. Please. Ah. Would you? Please. Would you eat my cup? You dealt with me. All those times you fought me. You insulted me. You, you, you thought I was weak. You thought I couldn't fight back. No. 
It was just because of what my father made me promise him. To always love you people no matter what. You people... Ah! Money, please, I'm it's, sorry. It's okay, please. my daughter. Adam. Please Nico. have mercy. You see, I never liked your stepmother. And you know it. Including this one. I never liked them at all. But from the way she's begging and talking, I see somebody who has repented. So I want to also plead on your behalf so that you can forgive her, please. Please, you stand up. Stand up, I'm sure. Stand up. Sit. Forgive you. Forgive you for all you and Mama put me through. Mama must have died. I saw you. Mama shouldn't have died like this, no. It's okay, it's okay, stop crying, it's okay. Ngozi, please, I, I feel very ashamed and I'm sorry for what I've put you through. Please, if you find it in your heart, forgive me, please. Go one name. Now that you have forgiven me, I want to ask you for a favor. Please, forgive Fred, he's a good man, I know he, he treated you badly, but it was all my fault, it was all me, please forgive him, accept him back, be go, accept him back, after all, he, he, he came for you first. Yes, he came for you first before Mama and I connived and took him away from you. Yes, Nico. um... Unga. Unga, unga, unga. <laughs> My daughter, you know in our family, love runs in our blood. And that is why we leave the love come out to take care of things. Hmm? You see what she just said? That is the truth. I never liked this man either. But he explained to me and he told her that your wicked stepmother manipulated them. Okay? So he has um, begged and I want to plead also that you forgive him. You know? See, let me tell you. He has told me that he's coming to pay your bride price. Mm -mm. Uncle Biko, Fred, I have forgiven you. But both of you should continue. I don't want trouble. Sister, Nico, no, bad. There will be Nico, no no. Sister, no, there will be no trouble. Okay? Matter of fact, this, this, this marriage wasn't meant to be. He didn't come for me. He came for you. You both were meant to be. Please. It was Mama that connived. I am Mama. We connived and took him away from you. Please. As it stands now, I... I'm, I'm leaving this village, okay? I'm just going to find my way. I'll just go and put myself together. I'm not interested in marriage for now. Please. Remember he came for you first, like I said earlier. Pico. That, that was what they used to convince me. He actually came for you first. Just that. You know your wicked stepmom now. She just manipulated all of them. Your star is there. I told you now. Hmm? God will bring somebody that will wipe your tears and is bringing back Fred to come and wipe your tears. Okay? All I do every day is just to make you happy. All I think every day is about your well-being. Hey, Fred, I was just about to reach you on the phone. Ah. Please have a seat. Good day, Barista. Good day, how are you? Mm, I'm fine. Your younger brother just left my office and he has threatened to sue you for breaching what was stated in your father's will. I don't know how he got to know that you lost your son. 
uh, that was given to you by your first wife whom you legally married to. And then again, after the news of your son's death, he came here to blow and return with an information of the authenticity of your second wife, whom you legally also got married to. But then there is another version to this whole story. That you mispaid her bride price to a drunk person entirely. <sighs> Listen to me, Fred. He has a point here to prove when we get caught. But I can assure you that I'm ready for him. Barrister. Barrister, give the company to him. What? I, I can do this. It Barrister, did you hear what I said? Fred, what has come over you? He's right. Yes, I gave the wrong person my wife's bride price. But even at that, you can still correct this by giving the right bride price to the owner. First, I don't need cause of me losing my child and to my wife. My first wife. I had everything. Yes. And I was almost ruining the chances of a young lady getting married all in the chase of having a child. Even after giving me the child, I still sent her away, still trying to take the child from her. Isn't that an evil act? Which is not me, all in the quest of wanting to get the title of a CEO. Huh. I to know. I'm sure that was the reason that God had to take away my first child. Oh, well, it is what it is. So at this juncture, I've decided to relinquish the position of the CEO to my younger brother. Are you very sure about this? First, I am very sure. You know, family is everything to me. In this whole quest for CEO ship and all, a whole lot of things has gone down. And truthfully, each time I get to think about it, I remember the terrible things that has gone down and it doesn't go well with me. So I would come back to sign every necessary document and paper to this course. I, I hope you understand. Yes, I do. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I will have to do the need for them. Thank you, Marissa. I Should would uh, take my leave right now. Right. I sacrifice all for you. Yet you're not satisfied. You made me do all this. Yet you're not satisfied. I showed you true love. Yet you're not satisfied. In your 